Now we're going to see how to use calculate the covariance and correlation between two data series. Here we have two uh, stocks, imaginary prices for two stocks, series number one, series number two. And I would now like to calculate the covariance and the correlation. There's two ways of doing it. One is using data analysis. I go to data tab, data analysis, and I choose covariance. As soon as I do so, it's asking you where is the data that's over here. Remember that the first row here has names, so you check the box that says labels in first row. And now you have to tell Excel where the output is going. It's going to D1. I hit OK. Now here's what this number means. The number 4950648 is the covariance of price 1 with itself. By definition, that's the same thing as the variance. But the question is, which variance is this? Remember there are two ways to calculate variances, variance in the in the sample and variance in the population, meaning that in the sample you calculate variance by dividing by n minus 1, whereas in variance in population you divide calculate variance by dividing by n. So the question is, 49506 is the covariance of price 1 with itself, the variance of price 1, but well, which one, sample or population? Let's find out. So I can now calculate variance in according to sample. I hit that command. And now I want the variance of price of stock 1. And then you will notice you get a different answer, 521.12, which is not the same as 495. So clearly, when Excel calculates covariance using data analysis uh, tools, it does so by using variance in the population dividing by n. And you can confirm this by typing this formula where is the population and now we do this over here and there you notice it's 495.06 so therefore 495.06 is the variance of price 1 with itself according to the, in the population dividing by n and in therefore 798 is the variance of stock price number 2 um, of course in the population therefore this number 172.31 is the covariance of price 1 with price 2 and again you will notice I can confirm this covariance which one in the population or the sample well, let's first do sample actually let's remind us that's what we're trying to do is covariance in the sample whereas covariance in the population this time you'll notice I say covariance it says in the sample it says two series series number one comma series number two and then the answer you get is 181.38 so therefore when you use the data analysis means of calculating covariance it is not using the sample formula not dividing by n minus one therefore it must be dividing by n or must be calculating covariance in the population let's confirm this here is series number one and then series number and you should find out that this is in fact the exact same answer 172.31 as over here so this is the covariance of price 1 with with price number 2 this cell is blank because by definition the covariance of price 1 with price 2 is the same as covariance of price 1 with price 2 over here so this cell here is always equal to this cell over here all of diagonal terms are equal to each other now let's calculate the correlation I can do it two ways the data analysis tool check the correlation box notice I've already selected this data range over here told Excel that the first row are labels and told Excel that the output range should be in D6 let's do this Now this time it doesn't matter whether this is co in the sample or population because if you know the correlation formula it's covariance divided by standard deviation of X times standard deviation of Y so it doesn't matter whether you do by populations or samples because the correlation coefficient will always be the same. Let's confirm this. So correlation oh sorry that's not the spelling of correlation. Here we go. Correlation right here. So when I do this you notice that Excel only gives you one option for correlation. There's no dot P or not dot S because it doesn't really matter. So here's data series number one and I want the correlation of this with data series number two and the answer is 0.27 so therefore the correlation of price 1 with itself is 1 as is the correlation of price 2 with itself which is also 1 0.27 means the correlation of price 1 with price number 2